Well, I'm a re retired uh, engineer and worked at Caterpillar for you know 36 years, 37 years, and my degree is in metallurgical engineering and also mechanical engineering. So uh, metals sort of fit into my background uh, technically, as you know, and experience-wise. A friend of mine uh, decided to uh, take a class down in Missouri, and he talked me into going with him down there to take a class, and that was what got me hooked. That's when I went down and took a class, a week-long class with a um, master blacksmith from Israel. Had no intention you know, of really doing anything with it, but uh, when I came back, I was fired up about it, and I thought, that's, this is something that really be neat to do. It's uh, a broad base. It's probably the only really art form that is uh, self-supporting in terms of, I make my own tools. You know, uh, painters probably don't make their own paint brushes. I don't know if they do or not. Probably not, but um, seamstresses don't make their own needles. You know, I make my own tools, and I make tools, could make tools for other people over the history of, of man uh, and the Iron Age on. Uh, the blacksmith was a place you had to go to in order to get tools made, either be weapons or functional uh, tools too. So that combination is interesting. Steel has got a really nice characteristic, and it's probably one of the reasons why it's uh, one of the major mediums. Is um, It's very ductile. And if you work it at the right temperature and don't get it too hot or don't work it too cold, you can do a lot of, of uh, shaping and, and forming of steel. You know, when I am um, making something, I'm, I'm constantly thinking about uh, new ideas and I'm looking at uh, work that other um, uh, blacksmiths have done. Um, I look at that and say, oh, wow, there's a good idea. You know, maybe I can steal that person's idea and, and transform it into something I can make myself. My name is Bud Harvey and my art works in Illinois.